Hello, everybody, and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. If you received the Vectrec newsletter in your email this past week, you know that there have been some really neat upgrades and enhancements to the gadgets library. And so if you'll go to the uh, Vectrec gadgets, I'll put a link down in the description, access the gadgets library. And I want to show you this one down here. There's a gadget now to do some dovetails. And if you'll click on this, there are some great tutorial videos on exactly how to uh, set up in Vectrec to cut dovetails. Uh, and then you want to download the gadget um, right here down at the bottom and install it into your uh, Vectrec Aspire VCAR Pro software. And so once you have that installed, you can set this up to cut the pins and the tails, and I want to walk you through that. So I have here a piece of stock set up 24 by 24, 3 quarters of an inch thick, Z0 on the table, XY lower left. We're going to work in inches and OK. And so typically you're going to cut dovetails in a rectangle, probably for a box or a chest or something of that nature. And so what we'll do first is we'll cut the, the long side of the box first. And let's go ahead and set that up as 14 inches in the X and 5 inches in the Y and click apply. And that'll be one side of our box. And then let's go ahead and make the other side. We'll do 8 inches in the X and 5 inches in the Y. And now you've got two sides of your box here. And let's just position these so that we can get all four pieces on our 24 by 24 stock. Okay, now these are all closed vectors now. And so the first thing that we're going to want to do is press N so that we enter the node editing mode. And we're going to come in here and we're going to cut these vectors. You're going to right click, cut vector right click cut vector right click cut vector and right click cut vector and now what you've done and then to get back into selection mode you're gonna click the arrow here and now what you've done is you've set up these four line segments as individual vectors as opposed to one rectangular vector so we'll come down here to this one and do the same. Press N, Node Editing, and we're going to cut the vector. Cut, right click, cut, right click, cut. And back to selection mode. So now you have the individual vectors for your box sides. Then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select all of these vectors. And then we will select them all again to get into move mode. And then you're going to hold down control and shift and drag downwards. And now you have a copy of all of these individual vectors and you've got your two long sides and your two short sides. Okay, so once you have this set up, it's now time to go in and cut your pins and tails. And so what you want to do is you want to, let's, we're going to go ahead and cut the tails first. So you're going to select these vectors by holding down shift and you're going to select all of the vectors on the ends of the box. 
Come up to your gadgets. Here's your dovetail creator that you just installed. And we're going to do dovetail pin creator. When you open it, you get a dialog box now that allows us to specify whether we want to make our pins or our tails. In this case, we're going to make our dovetails. We're going to want two of them. We're going to make them three quarters of an inch wide, three quarters of an inch deep with a 20 degree angle. And we're going to press OK. Bam. Look at that. Nice, nice dovetails. OK. Now we've got to do the pins. Once again, we're going to hold down Shift, select our four pins, boards, pin boards, go up to Gadgets, Dovetail Creator, Dovetail Pin Creator, and this time we want to select our pins. It should default to what you did with the tails. So you want two pins, three quarters of an inch wide, three quarters of an inch deep, 20 degree angle, select OK. And now you have your pins. OK, so a couple of things that we have to clean up here before we do some tool paths. The first thing that we're going to do is get rid of these long vectors that, that now that we have the tails, we need to get rid of these. So we're going to select the Trim Vectors tool, and you're going to hover over these little lines, and you're going to cut them out so that we have some nice, clean tail boards. Once those are done, select Close. Okay, now we're going to come up to our gadgets, Dovetail Creator, Dovetail Toolpath Creator, because the gadget will create the toolpaths for your pins. And so we've got a three quarters of an inch thick with a 20 degree angle. We're going to start at zero on the table. We're going to make it 75 uh, excuse me, three quarters of an inch uh, cut depth. It's looking for the marker layer and it created that when you did the, the pins. And then we're going to select our tool. Now, I cut it with an eighth inch end mill. We'll get into this a little bit more when we uh, actually cut. I show you how to cut them. And then let's name the uh, tool path dove tail pins and select OK. And so now what it's done here is it has created the tool paths to make your pins. OK. So let's go ahead now in order for us to uh, generate the tool paths here. One of the things that we know the CNC machine can't do is it can't do these inside corners, right? Because the bit is round. And so if the bit travels in here, it's going to have a radius in these corners here. It can cut these outside corners nice and sharp, but the inside ones, it's going to cut them with a radius. I haven't tried that yet. I probably will, and I'll get a video up on that. But for right now, let me show you what I did. So I came over here to the um, fillet tool uh, to create some fillets. I have found that the T-bone fillet is the best one to use. And you're going to hover the little cursor over where you want to put the fillet. Watch for the check mark and click. 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 And so now as you see, we have put some uh, fillets on these inside corners now so that we'll get a nice snug fit when we put them together. So let me go ahead and put these fillets in all of these uh, tail boards and uh, you can pause the video, do it yourself, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, we're back. We've got our fillets. One other point here, the fillet tool radius, we've got a, 
eighth inch tool, 0.125. And so let's go ahead and take the, the radius up a couple thousandths. Let's go to 0 0.064 here so that when the tool comes in here, we get the least amount of material removal uh, that we can. Okay. All right, then we're going to select close. And now it's time that we go in and we got to cut all these out, right? We've, we've cut our uh, pins, but now we've got to cut all the boards out. So we've got to do some uh, joining of vectors. The, we first unjoin them all, and now we need to join them all. So the first thing that we want to do is come over here to our layer manager and let's turn off our marker layer and select close and now you can see those lines that were there are gone okay and now we are going to join our vectors so you're gonna select the join open vectors with a tolerance of 0 0.005 select all of your vectors and as you can see, in the beginning, you've got two closed, eight open. After we close them, we're going to have four closed vectors, which is your four sides. We're going to join and close. Okay, so we have joined all of our vectors, and now it's time to cut our parts out. So we're going to go over to the Toolpath tab. We are going to select all of the vectors and we are going to do a profile toolpath and we're going to go three quarters of an inch deep we're going to use the eighth inch end mill I'm doing a thirty second of an inch at a time so it's gonna take twelve passes we're gonna go outside right climb cut I have a vacuum table so we don't need any tabs leads ramps order or corners if you're using some other hold down method you may want to add some tabs and we will call the profile cut out and calculate and there we go and if we preview that tool path you will see that we've got two tailboards two pin boards and we are ready to go to the machine and cut these babies out. And so what we'll want to do is save our tool paths. Click save. Save the tool paths. Save them to a location that you would like. Mine is here, Dovetail Practice. Select save. And down the road we go. Let's go ahead and hop over to the machine. I'll show you how these cut out. Show you the finished product. I really appreciate you watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Okay, so here we are cutting the pins. And what you'll see is it will cut through the pins. Then it'll do the uh, cutouts. And then we'll show you some pictures at the end of what they look like. There's uh, about four clips in here showing the various uh, machining methods. And I sped them up about uh, three times, so it should go fairly quickly. But I wanted you to get a sense for uh, what the machining looked like. And then we'll take a look at some pictures at the end. Hey, thanks again for watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.
Okay, from a machining method, uh, the joints fit absolutely spectacularly. Uh, you can see here that it fit good. I don't like where we had to put the fillets and it puts that little hole. I'm working on what we need to do to make that a tight corner. Because I have to tell you, if we can make that a tight corner, these joints are absolutely amazing. Uh, the, the pins and tails just fit perfect. So anyway, that's a look at the Vectrek uh, dovetail gadget and the machining. Uh, I'll bring back some tutorials in the future to see if we can't tighten those corners up. But I have to tell you, I'm, I'm really impressed with the fit of that. So thanks again for watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.